They travel halfway around the world, searching for themselves. They fly to an ancient land, looking for their future. Hundreds of thousands of young people on a mission of discovery. Can 10 days in Israel affect them for the rest of their lives? Hanukkah, oh, Hanukkah, oh, rock of the ages, eight nights to celebrate great Jewish sages. Emma, a state-of-the-art single from New York, an aspiring actress asking what role Judaism should play in her life. It's my religion, it's my ancestry, and it's something that I'm not really allowed to take that seriously. Rachel, a Jewish PR professional married to a Christian, wondering how to raise their adopted son. I think Gabriel's gonna have a lot of identity question. Um, I'm not sure that I'm up to that on my own. Michelle, a singer-songwriter, as she composes the next chapter in her own story. Yes, what tune will she be singing? For me, it was all about having options. If you want to be Jewish, you have to actively be Jewish. You have to actively seek out kosher food. It's not like you could just go into restaurants and get a chicken sandwich. Jews are drowning in a sea of secular opportunities. In America, they're losing their identity. We're all Jews, but we don't quite know what the heck Jewish is. They're abandoning their communities. Who are we? What do we want to be? Can they survive? Judaism in a few generations will disappear in the diaspora. Can a trip to Israel reshape their destiny? A group of Jewish mega philanthropists believes it can. The Jewish future in the diaspora is inextricably tied to Israel. Israel to a Jew is like uh, Disney World is to an American kid. They're funding free trips to Israel for young Jews in an ambitious worldwide project known as Taglit Birthright Israel. They should think that they're privileged to be Jewish and that they get gifts for being Jewish. It's a multi-million dollar investment in tomorrow's Jewish world. It's fantastic. One of the best things that we are doing with our money. More than 200,000 young people have made the trip so far. I've taken like 400 pictures, but it doesn't capture anything at all. It's pretty extraordinary to feel that connectedness. I mean, being on a trip with 40 Jewish people my age, that's the first time that's ever happened. I start to really like them, and then in the back of my mind, suddenly I'm like, oh my god, they're Jewish. It's an uninterrupted mix of good times, sex, fun, rock and roll, and time to reflect. Wow, this is what it means to be part of the majority. Some of them have never seen that many Jews in their lives. 10 days packed with experiences and inspiration. The wall is something I've wanted to see for a really long time. In a good way, it makes you feel small. You're kind of part of a much larger story. I didn't know what to do with myself. Like I had the wall and the paper and I'd written my prayer and I just didn't know what else to do. I started to cry. This is a story of moments and emotions. I think I was just thinking about my family. <laughs> a confrontation with questions and doubts. I spend all my time at home making fun of things. That's what I want to do professionally is make fun of things and make people laugh. And to come here and turn that off is like, nicest gift I've ever given myself. Can it really change their lives? You have to come and, and you have to actually experience it and see it and talk to God. Soul tripping. What will they take home from the journey? <laughs>